Thanks, you wolves. My name is Alana, and this is the event preview where we keep you up to date on all things happening around the world in All Things Scholars Academy. Here's what's happening from October 9th to October 13th. October 9th marked Italian Heritage and Indigenous Peoples Day. This day allows us to honor the contributions and culture of Indigenous people and embrace the contributions of Italians. I hope you guys enjoyed your day off. Open access has opened. You must get a pass from your homeroom teacher. Ms. Israel or Ms. Schwach will meet you in the lunchroom at the beginning of the period. On Tuesday, our school will be hosting a parent association meeting from 6.30 to 7. And now, here's Patrick with the sports and after school report. Thanks, Alana, and hello, everyone. We are going to be setting us up for a very eventful and jam-packed week in terms of sports as we do have a pretty stacked lineup. On Tuesday, our co-ed cross-country team has yet another meet at 4 o'clock p.m. at Cunningham Park. Make sure to go out and show your support to our Seawolves as they run their hearts out. Next up, our girls' varsity soccer team has an away game on Tuesday as well at 4 o'clock p.m. at Martin Van Buren High School. Let's wish our Lady Seawolves the best of luck as they remain undefeated in their division with a 4-0 record currently. That is very amazing. Additionally, our girls' tennis team has two games coming up, one on Thursday and one on Friday at 4 o'clock p.m., both at home at Basewater Park. So good luck, girls. Finally, make sure to come out to support our other group of Lady Seawolves as they have their second home game here at Scholars Academy once again on Tuesday at 4 o'clock p.m. Good luck, girls. One more notable mention is our boys' bowling team on Wednesday at 4 o'clock p.m. at Funfest Lanes for yet another meet. Good luck, boys. As of this time, we currently have no middle school sports up and running, but as we get further into the fall months and the uh, middle of the season, we should see this breaking headlines at some point in the future, so stay tuned for more information. And now, here's Toomey with an interesting fact. Thanks, Patrick. We all know Scholars Academy was established in the early 2000s, way before any of us students were born. But did you know that the oldest existing school, Chengdu Shishi High School, has roots that date back to 143 to 141 BCE? The building was originally constructed in stone and relates to the current name of the school, which literally means stone chamber. Shishi High was established as Chinese first public high school by Western Han Dynasty Governor Wen Wang, and today is one of the top ranked schools in China, as it is very selective with students it admits each year. During the Eastern Han Dynasty, the school was burned down in a fire and then rebuilt in 199 AD, which wouldn't be the only struggle that the school faced. But despite all the hardship, the school continued to thrive during the Imperial Dynasties and even until today. As of recently, the school is very internationally minded and fosters regular exchange programs with countries including the USA and Denmark. Now, if you'd like to celebrate the accomplishment of a scholar or a staff member or highlight a special event for our scholars in the spotlight segment, please email a photo and a short blurb to Mr. Racinos. And that's it for the event preview for this week. We are Alana, Patrick, and Toomey, and we will see you next time when we bring you more news from the Scholars Academy. Have a great day.